Welcome to this week's episode of TLA International, a special travel and fishing series where I explore different regions of the world's fisheries while indulging in the culture and traditions and foods of the region. Last time on TLA International, I spent 30 hours traveling across the world to Singapore and to my final destination, Penang Island, that is part of the Malaysian coastline known for their diversity in food, culture, and breathtaking scenery. This week, we continue our journey and explore Penang Hill, a local travel destination filled with tremendous views of the island and spectacular food at the top. We also partake in the Penang International Food Festival, a renowned event that celebrates the diversity in food and culture that is the heart of the Penang people. Finally, we take a trip to Armenia Street, the center of Penang street art scene. The scene is creative as it is unique and draws tourists from all over the world. And I'm excited to get this episode started, so let's get traveling. Uh, the next step we're gonna actually take is to head up to Penang Hill. We're gonna take a cable car up and we're gonna check it out. So I've heard about this, I've seen it on YouTube, I've, seen, I've just researched it a little bit. I'm pretty sure it looks really pretty. Right now it's not raining at all, so I think it's gonna be good. We're gonna go up there and give it a, a go and check it out and see the overview of the city because it's really cool. Alright, so after getting the ticket, you kind of have to get your way up here and, and there's a big trolley that kind of takes us to the very top of the hill. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, there's a lot of shops, you know, it's very touristy. So, uh, I think the overall ticket for two people was like $52, so something like $25 something odd dollars a piece. $25.50, I guess. So, um, yeah, let's grab, take this tramp up the hill and see how everything looks like on the top. Alright, so we just got off the train and on the way up, all the way up the hill. So, I think like this is a big tourist trap, but it should be pretty interesting still nevertheless. Gonna go and check out the rest of you. Let's check out what's out. The main attraction on Penang Hill is the habitat, an outdoor construct filled with lots of outdoor activities, nature walks, botanical gardens, swings, and the highlight of the tour treetop canopy walk. Okay, so we reached the top of this area and um, it's pretty nice. It's uh, the canopy walk and the canopy walk is just basically this 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 big canopy that they built on top of the, um, the, the trees, right? That oversees the whole uh, Penang, basically the whole island. All right guys, check out this view. So we're on top of the canopy uh, area here and on that side over there, we can see actually all of Penang, which is awesome by the way. And over here, you can see the ocean and it's, and it's completely pretty beautiful lots of beaches on that way and over here as well so um it's a pretty awesome view honestly so it's a pretty awesome view so let's go let's keep going At the end of the area, there's a car ride that takes you back to the tram area. This is a pleasant surprise as most people will be tired from exploring the habitat. 
After a long day of exploring Penang Hill, I recommend trying out the food at David Brown's restaurant. There's lots of lunch and dinner combos for a reasonable price, and I really enjoy the ambience of the restaurant in the area. This is actually a popular location for wedding photography because of the spectacular views that this location offers. On our next stop, we traveled to see the Penang International Food Festival. I was pleasantly surprised to find my trip overlapping with this annual event and couldn't be happier to partake in it. The festival represents everything Malaysia and Penang. Diversity of food, culture, music, and overall, a great vibe to an already exciting trip. All right, guys, we are here at the Penang International Food Festival. This is something that happens like once a year for a few days and they move around all throughout Malaysia and um, to, to, to have these food festivals. But today we are super lucky because it's like right in Penang and it's an area that is super packed and this is just happening right now. It's just all over the place. Food from all over the world, food from all over the cultures of Penang. And it is something you've got to witness. If you've never witnessed it before, this is something you've got to try and come down here if it's going to be here in time when they have it. This is like, I'm so lucky because it just happened to be exactly at the same time that, um, that it was happening. And the food is amazing. People are just flipping burgers, doing all types of things from India to, to Malaysian food, street food, hawker's food. Uh, it's just been amazing. People are here just trying everything, excited to get this started. Um, there's a big crowd here, there's music, and it's it's something to witness if you're out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try some of this food here. This place is just insane. So I'm gonna try some of this food and let you guys know how it tastes. So I'm gonna go and try the um, satay, satay, just chicken satay. Uh, it looks pretty good though. I'll give it a shot. The guy looks like he's been grilling pretty good out here, and so uh, there's so much food. There's so many options. I don't know what to do. Honestly, to tell you the truth, if I could eat, I could eat it all, and I'll probably get in a food coma and just pass out. But we're gonna try the satay. I'm gonna let you know how, how it goes. All right. So we bought uh, three of these right here. Six of these. Mmm. So there's some coconut on it, and it's really tender. The meat itself is really tender. There's a lot of coconut in it. It's really good. Holy smokes. Man, there's so much food. I don't know what to do. There's so much food. I'm about to pace myself out. That was really good. So the next thing we're going to get is this place it has a lot of oysters. Um, it's a pop-up oyster, popo fried oyster egg. So there's like a super long wait time for this. It's like it's like 40 minutes to get a, a wait time for this. But uh, we're going to give it a shot and wait for about 40 minutes or so and come back for it. And we're going to give it a, a try. But it does look really tasty. I mean, obviously there's a 40 minute wait for the oyster, <laughs> whatever that is. But, uh, but I think it's worth it. I think it's going to be good. So uh, hopefully I'll get run over by a car too. Yeah. So we're gonna come back with this one and we're gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna let you guys know how it tastes like. I'm very excited for it. Uh, there's so much food, I don't even know what to do right now. 
I waited for roughly about 40 minutes for my food to be prepared. And this was a dish that I've never tried before. And it did not disappoint. The texture of the eggs and fresh oysters mixed with hot sauce and spices really came together well. I can see why there was such a long line for this dish. Overall, the festival was a treat and it just added to an already amazing trip. Final stop on this episode is Armenia Street, the art district of Penang. If you are into street art, this is where it's at. The area is filled with street murals and creative artwork that exemplifies Malaysia's commitment to diversity and inclusion. One of the areas that if you're down in Penang and you had a little time is you have to visit Armenia Street. Armenia Street is basically like the art district of Penang. And here in this street, you have a ton of street art um, that's aligned all up and down the street. Obviously, you have your tourist sites and things that are selling too. And the top of it is really the the boy on a bike. I mean, that's what they're you know this area is known for. I also recommend this place called Ludwig. It actually had the the, the ice cream here. It was pretty darn good. I mean, I think it was really smooth. It was really good. But there's a lot of different things you can see on Armenian Street. And I'm gonna check all this place out and see um, what I really like. But obviously the big thing, the big tourist attraction in this particular area is the boy on a bike. So I'm kind of walking down these hidden corridors and you can check out these really awesome, funny like street art that they have. Um, if you keep walking and there's like these little tiny corridors like kind of everywhere and they have like hidden artwork all around this place. You know, so you gotta kind of walk around these little areas to find out these little hidden gems of art that kind of align this whole place. But if you're just on the main street, you'll see the main things. But if you keep opening your eyes, you'll see that there's lots of actually lots of other fun art. And they're just along these little corridors. But I mean, there's houses and stuff like that. So I don't want to spend too much time kind of being on your privacy things. But yeah, go ahead. Definitely go explore these little, little nooks and crannies that are all around this area here. There's those little hidden gems and little hidden um, paintings and things like that. One of the things that really struck me when visiting the district is their love and affinity for cats. I mean, they really like their cats. In fact, there's even a store solely dedicated to cats, which is understandable since artists and cats actually have a lot in common. So like these people really like their cats. I'm not even joking, look at that. There's like that there. They got full Michael Jackson fever. They got Michael Jackson cat right there. See that? And they got the Avengers cat. And they got a cat on a, a Volkswagen thing. But these guys like the cats and the bikes, and they also have a, a cat bike thing right in front of the store. So, I mean, this is a very unique district that is really into their cats and their, and their bikes.
But um, so this is definitely interesting, man. It's definitely an art district. Well, that's a wrap for this episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Next time, we will travel to visit the different temples and mosques in Penang and visit the various street markets to try hawkers and street food and discover the traditions and cultures that is unique to the Malaysian people and so much more. If you guys enjoyed this content, make sure to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. It will help the channel grow and create content that you enjoy. I'll catch you next time on another episode of TLA International.